Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to update our ASUS X370 Pro to use the latest AMD processors. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so if you're like me and you're very, very excited to be seeing the new AMD 3000 range of CPUs and APUs, then you're probably thinking about getting your motherboard ready to accept the processor. Now at the moment, because the processors haven't actually been launched or released, we don't know the exact details. But what we do know is that a lot of manufacturers are already releasing BIOSes which are capable of recognizing these new chips. Now currently the way AMD does it is they release a new microcode or an AGESA to allow motherboards to recognize these new processors. So you're possibly wondering what an EGESA is. So let's ask Google and find out. Hey Google, what is AGESA? According to Wikipedia, AMD generic encapsulated software architecture is a bootstrap protocol developed by advanced micro devices used to perform the platform initialization on mainboards using their AMD 64 architecture. Okay, so there you go. That is what an AGESA is and why it's important for the new processors. So if you've got a ASUS Prime X370 Pro and you're looking to update, this is how to do it. So things you're gonna need for this particular update is an internet connection, a working PC with a processor that works, and possibly a USB stick. Now the USB stick isn't completely necessary. You can actually do this BIOS update via the internet, but some people will find definitely a USB stick is possibly the safer and more reliable way of doing it. So let's go over to the PC and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing to do is to get your freshly formatted USB drive and put it into the computer. And as you can see on this USB drive, I've already got the BIOS downloaded, but we're gonna go through and do that again step by step. So the first thing to do is to go to the motherboard site for your particular motherboard. Now in this case, it's the ASUS Prime X370 Pro. So on the main page, what we need to go is to the support section. Now in the support section, you've got options for memory support, driver tools, etc. And the one we want is drivers and tools. Now in drivers and tools, we've now got more sections for drivers and tools and also BIOS and firmware. So if we go into BIOS and firmware, And if we scroll down, the top one here we can see is the latest release of BIOS for this particular motherboard, which is version 4602. So as you can see, this was released on the 25th of March this year. And from the description, it's got the updated EGESA 0072 for upcoming AMD processors. Now there is a caveat here. ASUS strongly recommends that you update the AMD chipset driver to 1850.16 or later before updating the BIOS. Now the reason for this is because if you're using an APU or onboard graphics, the new chipset will actually not initialize properly after the update if you've got the older revision of the chipset driver. So if you haven't got this already, I strongly suggest you go over to the AMD site and download the latest version. Now I've actually already done this, but if you need to do it, go to www.amd.com and go to the support section and you can get the drivers and support for your motherboard. Generally, it will recognize automatically, but you can go through and search manually. So if we click on chipsets, and then go for AMD socket AM4, and then choose X370, and then hit submit. And that is the latest chipset drivers for Windows 10 64-bit. Obviously choose your Windows version, but I think most people will probably be using Windows 10 64-bit at this time. So all you do is click on download and at the bottom there, or depending which browser you're using, you'll get an option to save or save as. So we're gonna save this as, and we're gonna put it in our download section. And as you can see, I've already got it there already, but that's all you need to do. So save the downloaded file and then run it to update your chipset drivers. Now we're not gonna go through that in this particular instance because I've already done it, but it is definitely worth doing that and restarting your computer before you continue. So let's go back to our BIOS and firmware. So we can now download this latest version 
Again, make sure you've got a USB stick, preferably clean and formatted just to ease the process along, but you can download it to pretty much everywhere, anywhere you want, any removable drive. You could even burn it to a CD if you so wish. So click on download. And again, we get the same options. So we'll save as, and we'll save it in our download section. So we can move it to a USB drive, or alternately, if you want to just do it straight away, you can go straight to your USB drive. So as you can see, I've got it already downloaded. So just click on save. And that will download. So you can go to the open folder and you can see that you've got your BIOS there. Now, for me personally, I always extract it just to make sure that the actual download has been done properly and is all working. And you can look inside the file folder and see that you've got the BIOS, the cap file ready and waiting. Now, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it just to make sure that the download hasn't been corrupted in any way so that I have to go through the whole process again. So that's our BIOS downloaded onto the USB stick. So now we can close all our windows and now we can restart the PC. Now, when we restart the PC, we'll need to go into the BIOS. So get ready to mash that delete key or whatever key it is on your particular board. So there we go. We've uh, hit the delete key repeatedly until we've got into the BIOS screen. So this is the ASUS UEFI BIOS utility. It's currently in easy mode and we want to change that to go into advanced mode to update the BIOS. So down in the bottom right hand corner here, we've got the option for advanced mode. You can click on that or alternatively, you can press your F7 key. So in advanced mode, we've got all these options at the top here that we can choose from. And the one that we want for this particular instance is the tool section. Now in the tool section, you've got various options, but the one that is more important to us is the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And this takes us into the BIOS flashing mode. So now you get options of where you want to actually download or get the BIOS from. Now, like I said before, we're going to be using the storage devices, but you can actually do it just from the internet if you wish, which if you haven't got a USB drive is the ideal situation. But for this instance, I'm going to show you how to do it from storage devices. So choose storage devices and click next. And now what we want to do is find your USB drive that has got the folder on it. Now, if you're lucky and you've got it in the root of the folder, it will probably pick up the right one automatically. And in this particular one, we're going to go with the Prime X370 Pro ASUS 4602. So click on that. And then we can choose the cap file, which is the BIOS update file. And if you've got the right one, it should automatically go to this screen saying, do you want to read this file? So if you're all sure, then now is a good time to read the file. So click on yes, and it will take a few seconds and it will try and read the file. So next thing we do is we have the option for, do you really want to update the BIOS? Now I would suggest before you do this, it would be a really good idea to unplug any unnecessary devices from your machine. So anything with a USB uh, card reader, that kind of thing, always worth removing those just to be on the safe side to try and limit any potential problems or issues whilst doing the update. So once you've done all that, you can then go ahead and click on yes to update the BIOS. So then you go back to this screen and you have a process bar at the bottom, which will be saying processing. And this will take a little while, so just uh, bear with it. Now at this particular time, the last thing you want to do is to have any interruption to either your power source or your PC. So leave it alone, just wait, be patient and let it go through and do its thing. Now I do apologize for the uh, screen capture here with my Elgato card. For some reason, it just doesn't like producing the correct colors whilst I'm in the BIOS. So uh, if you've got any ideas of why it's doing that, then feel free to put them in the comments section below. I'd be really glad to hear of it. It has happened a few times and I've had a quick look on Google and there doesn't seem to be any specific reason why it's doing it. I've tried things like different HDMI cables, different settings, all that kind of usual stuff. So if you've got the definitive answer, I welcome your response in the comments section. So we'll quickly fast forward through this. Okay, so we're coming up towards the end of the processing phase now. So this has taken probably about four or five minutes. And that's the message we wanted to see. So 
the update has been successful and the system is going to be reboot itself. Again, this should be an automated process. If not, you can always click on the restart now button or OK. But probably best just to leave it alone and let it reboot itself. So after the update, we've now got the Asus Prime X370 Pro ACPI BIOS revision 4602. And as it's been a very new BIOS update and has rewritten a lot of the uh, features, we need to now go into the BIOS and configure the setup and make sure that everything is as it should be. So let's press F1 to run setup. And as you can see, it's recognizing the RAM. The SATA drive has been recognized. So everything looks all good to go. So all we need to do now is just save and exit. You can make any changes you want to in here, but it should just remain the same. Obviously, if for any reason when you do this, it doesn't boot up after, then you may need to go in and change your boot order, that kind of thing. But generally, this should be fine. So click on save and exit or hit F10. And also you haven't made any changes because, well, I don't think we need to. Okay, so there we go. After a quick reboot, we're back up to the desktop and everything is running fine. And now we are ready and waiting for AMD to drop their latest processors on us, the 3000 series. And hopefully there won't need to be any more BIOS updates. They should be ready to just uh, drop straight in and get up and running. So let me know in the comments, are you looking forward to the new AMD chips that are coming out in this summer or later in this year? If you are, let me know and let me know which ones you're planning on getting. It'd be really interesting to see what you guys are interested in. So there we go. There's the Asus Prime X370 Pro, all updated and ready for the processors. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.